Talking Conversation Podcast. Podcast O twenty five by Rich Man back in this back in this motherfucker man. Got a uh, got my nigga Mo on the day man. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, Mo. What's good, y'all boys? My uh, my name Mo. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Hell going on? Yeah, my name is Mo, man. Douglasville, Georgia. Man, my nigga Rich. Niggas came from, from hooping. In the back days, the back days, the back days. Good days. <laughs> the good days on God. So, yeah, this is my nigga, man. I'm just here supporting my nigga podcast, man. I might need to Yeah, man. I, like I said, man, like I say this all the time, but, uh, uh, I had certified niggas on, you know, most certified nigga, you know, in this hooping shit, you find saying? We have certified niggas on, but you know, he don't hoop no more, you know, we don't hoop no more, you find saying? Because, you know, you already know what, how, how the world go. Everybody know how that shit go. Mm-hmm. Nigga hoop on the side, though. Free buckets. Still. Yeah, niggas get free buckets. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, free buckets. Oh, God. But, uh, my nigga Mo, man, uh, just my personal, you know, um, my personal um, experiences with Mo and just just to give a little breakdown of who Mo is just from my perspective. Uh, Mo man, he a he a good nigga man. He you know he a you know real uh, really shit. That's the best way to say it, man. He you know he a real nigga and uh, he one of them niggas who gonna uh, you know you know what I'm saying make sure make sure everybody everybody straight. You know what I'm saying uh, he, he not not afraid to talk to nobody. Like just real, you know just a just a real good nigga. You know and. Uh, it's how you how how you came to to to, to be like that. Everybody not like that, and I I really I didn't really go into it deeper, but uh, cause I was I guess I was just hitting the blunt type shit. But I, I will though. <laughs> what I mean by by a good nigga, what I mean like he uh, shit, nigga geek. I ain't gonna cap, nigga is super geek. Uh, I really might just edit. I ain't even gonna cap. I'm just gonna edit this part. Out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to edit this part, <laughs> nigga. Ass. <laughs> nigga, that way when you get your nigga be stuck like a bitch. <laughs> hey, nigga, we got some more to smoke. This shit ain't no way. <laughs> you talking about? <laughs> we just go get some good ass food after this, grandma. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> oh, it. I want to know. But, uh, oh, yeah, facts. So, that do not mean, like, here you go. Uh, his personality is, like, real, you know, able to mix it with everybody. You know, he, you know, he could talk, you know, art- articulate himself. You know what I'm saying? He uh real friendly with everybody, you know, adults, you know, kids, you know what I'm saying, you know. At East Georgia, uh, uh we used to, you know, help with kids and shit like that. You know, everybody wouldn't be, you know, into that. You know, they kinda be like, you know, they'll just be there just cause they got to. But Mo was actually trying to be engaging with the kids and actually, you know, really uh answer their questions and shit like that. So, you know, just just a little description, you know, who he is, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you can go and get back to how you you know, how you got like that or just, you know, was you always just like that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. For me, like growing up, I went, I see, I seen, yeah, I seen the top. Like, I started off with like, as I said, I had two parent household that was making hella bread. Like, I was good. Like, I was a little kid. Like, I'm a little kid traveling, bro. Like, I went to Italy. I went to London. Like you feel what I'm saying I'm having I'm seeing bread like real bread. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Mo, Mo, man, he a. Uh, uh, you want to tell me your full name? <laughs> I'm African, so y'all know my name, Mo Mo Gate. Yeah, facts. He, you know, he, you know, he, he, he really from over there. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, and, and you know, I think that's why I kind of click with Mo because you know he he different. You know, I, I click with different people. You feel what I'm saying? Because you know, just what they experience. And Mo has experienced a lot. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, he he gonna experience more type shit, but uh. Just from uh, just you can kind of tell just from people who experience a lot, you know, just their personality and shit like that. But you can go ahead and continue. But yeah, so I mean, my parents was big in my life. So I mean, to see them come from overseas immigrants, as I said, make it big as they did, like they was doing numbers. So I mean, that was good, bro. But then, as I said, you know. When you're an immigrant, shit happens. Ma got locked away. You know what I'm saying? Dad supporting shit, but end up losing that job that he was going crazy at. And 
and then like that shit just changed for the worst. So seeing that shit change, and then like as I said, just seeing my what dad. Age, what, what what age was that? Was was that around that? Shit, that's probably I say fourth grade. Fourth grade. What, yeah. and where, where you was at then? Like where you was living at? Oh, I was living in uh, Douglasville. Okay, same, so 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 you been crib I'm, I'm in now. Same you, crib. So you were born now. and raised, same crib, whole life. Fact, fact. What? Nah. I, I I was born in Charlotte, North Carolina. Facts. So I lived there. That's crazy. I I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. That's crazy. My my father is is, is 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 from North Carolina. You know, Durham. You know, Charlotte. You know, what I'm oh, saying yeah, got family tough. out there. You know, what I'm saying North Carolina. You know, they hard with the hoop, the hoop and shit. Oh God, they yeah, hard. Yeah, I'm God. Hoop state. I'm God. Yeah. But yeah, I was born up there, and I moved down. I uh kindergarten, moved down kindergarten, right. So, I mean, as I said, I I I, I seen the top, and then. For me to go as a little kid traveling, seeing all this shit, like not giving a fuck, eating what the fuck I want to do, what the fuck I want to do, to boom. Mom in jail, you feel what I'm saying? Dad struggling, you feel what I'm saying? And then, I mean, I just, after that, it was always. Why it was, did they like your mama with? Because she was an immigrant. She came oh, over. She didn't have her papers. Damn. So she was working, and you feel what I'm saying? I don't know, just at that time, they just locked her away. So, I mean, that was a tough time, as I said, having to travel, just go see my mom, see my mom in jail. You feel what I'm saying? And then, like, seeing kids have shit, do shit. Like, I, I struggled hard, like, really hard. And that's, like, that's that's crazy. I never would have, I, I never would have, you know, thought that just your personality and shit like that. But, uh, but yeah, man, damn, that's crazy, though. Man, I struggled real hard, bro, like... I, I went through shit like that I know a lot of people have went through like so I mean just to grow past that I just I don't know I, I just feel for people so me going through that and then also being in a in in in, in, in a that's family it. that's it right there though me being being in a family that it's multiple people like I know people get overshadowed yeah. I know how many uh, brothers how many brothers you got six six right. you got any sisters no, well, I don't have six brothers. My father got six siblings. I oh, got six siblings. I got four brothers, two sisters. So, yeah, I mean, just as I said, caught in all that, they got to take care of everybody. I just knew I had to always, one, as I said, always help people because I know it's someone that always out there that needs help. You That's never, true. you never know who needs a, a, a any word or you know what I'm saying something that could. Boost someone up in, in, in any type shit. Yeah, in any type of way. That's that's all I I be trying to do for the most part. Cause as I, I know what I what I went through when I was younger, and I know as I said, being bullied at, at at school, then going home and struggling. You feel what I'm mm, saying? Damn, that no, and, and, and you know you probably know what the kids bullying because you African and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm already knowing how kids African get. Just, you know what I'm <laughs> Bro, I'm talking. Yo, they used to go crazy at elementary school. Well, when I hey, said, niggas, niggas, niggas niggas was wild. Oh, I was one of them niggas. Man. I, I went, I went. You know, I was. But kids, kids are just so mean. That's because they don't know. You feel what I'm saying? They don't know. You know, yeah, they, don't, they don't know no better. It's kind of just. It's kind of just, you know, but it's just on some on some funny shit. But then again, you know, kids that go through that, you feel what I'm saying? I went through that a little bit, I think. But uh, uh, but just going through that, seeing the other side of that, you just kind of, uh, that does stick with you, you know, if, if you are a kid. That probably does stick in the psyche, and then you going home dealing with what you had to deal with. You know, there's a lot to deal with type shit. God, so it's just like, bro, like, me just seeing that, I don't know, like, what the fuck my mindset was, like. I just always said, I can't, I don't know, I just always looked at the other side of things, mm. maybe. Maybe because I've seen the good. I always believe. And you I, say you're an optimist? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I say I'm an optimist. Like, yeah, facts. I think that's what, that's, that's what I fuck. I'm a, I'm a super optimist. I always think, you know, I just got the hope that, just got the hope that shit going to go good. Shit gonna yeah, because as, as, as I said, when it was down with my people, I ain't. I, it was bad times, but it would be some great ass times. Like it, it, it was. It is beauty in the struggle, as I said. Like it's stuff that I know now. I wouldn't appreciate if I would have just been staying the same rich little nigga I was. Yeah, facts. You see, gotta go. I, I would say that you gotta go through something. You know, you yeah. went. You went through some at 
at at that age and uh and and uh what age that was you said uh fourth grade i don't know how old you was but you went through that at that age you know some people go through that you know at, at older ages some people uh never go through it you know because yeah. yeah. at hey. first i wasn't even tripping i used to be at the school you know what i'm saying i mean i used to know i'm going out the country in the summer you know what I'm saying? Before that, like prior, I did that. Niggas make fun of my name. I right, cool, but niggas still knew me. Niggas was cool. Right. But man, when that shit started going down, when she did, oh, that shit went down. Yeah, I was like, oh man. But as I said something just clicked in my head. Like hmm. I can make, I seen my dad struggle to make sure I was good. Right. To make sure my whole family was good. So seeing that, it just pushed me to be like, yo, like no matter what, like. In this world, I can make what the fuck I want to want to happen. Like, I can take care of who the fuck I want to take care of. Like, I got to make sure everybody good. Like, if I fuck with you, there's no way I can fuck with you and not make sure you good. Yeah, okay. yeah that's why I would say. Mo, if Mo fuck with you, you feel what I'm saying? You going to feel you. He fuck with you. I, I feel like that too, you feel what I'm saying? Like, like, if I'm with my partners, like, like I just came to be experiencing something they did not experience it. Because I'm going to feel bad. Like, damn, I, I want them to experience it too. Or, or I'm just not going to experience it either with them. So we're going to just be on the same shit. I don't know. I just feel like that's the that's the humane thing to do or just the Yeah, I mean the, you know, it don't I don't know, it just don't don't feel good, uh not not uh someone else not being comfortable like Yeah, yeah, somebody's not how, being comfortable, facts though. How can you like enjoy something and you say you love and fuck with a person? I can't say I fuck with a person and, and see I'm enjoying though. something yeah. and they're not enjoying it. It's no way I can do that. Right. So it's just like, for me, I just feel like, as I said, it and it always makes it better. I think that's another reason why we had so much fun in East Georgia. Because it wasn't just one person, one person. Like, it was always a group of us on yeah, some facts, stupid bro. shit. Yeah, everybody yeah, enjoying, but everybody yeah. laughing. Yeah, yeah we bro. just, yeah, oh God, just, you feel just what I'm kicking saying? shit. Like, so, I mean, I enjoy shit like that. Shit like that is more impo- important to me and feel better to me than, you feel what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say money. I, I fuck with the cash, but yeah, like you, you know what I'm saying? Like that 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 <laughs> shit that shit like that shit just feel good. Like I enjoy that type of, like that shit that I remember and, and look back and like that shit made me feel good. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. I I'd rather prey on that than me just be a, a nigga that just me, me, me. Yeah, facts so. That shit don't get me nowhere. Yeah, but I, I would say you gotta have a I would say you gotta have a he- healthy balance of being and me, 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 and knowing when to, when, yeah. when when not to fuck with folks. Yeah, that shit and fucked me up too. I yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, fact though, that's, that's crazy. You know, I feel like people who who are like that, you know, they do go through that where they, you know, it's just you know they just so given and then that person just you know fuck that up for them and just like now nah, you got really gotta be evaluating you know who you really fuck with and who you don't fuck with and shit like that. Okay. And I just uh, uh, I just a uh, uh, crazy transition me- mentally type shit. But uh, what? Uh, so you say when uh when did things start getting back you know right you you would say shit right I don't think that shit ever really got right but but I say that shit got right when I got to high school I think about tenth grade that's when shit got right and and, and why would you say that I mean my my mom came back in middle school but then like as I said just get them accustomed back because you know at the same time doing that th- shit was it was a, de- a depression at the time yeah remember that. Yeah. So like, bro, I, I'm going through the depression while my mom's in jail, and we're depending on what my just my dad, right? To you know what I'm saying, like, hold down the household. What the hell? My phone ring. got a break in the action. <laughs> oh God, we good. My phone ring. All right, so mom come back. Uh. Yeah, my and my, in 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 tenth grade. So now you got your mom. Nah, not not mom t- to come back tenth grade. Mom come back middle school. Oh, she come back middle school. Now middle you got school. your mom and dad back yeah. in the crib. But now you you got to get back accustomed to having two parents just because she was locked up. Exactly. So, yeah. so I mean, just struggled with that as I said. But as I said, shit did brighten up for a little bit. Uh, that eighth grade and and then as I said, shit just started getting better. And I think tenth grade was really a good time. 10th grade through 12th grade honestly like it was some struggles then too also but it was always i feel like me being a good person 
that's another thing that always boosts me to be a good person. Not only because of the rewards, I, I see I see the benefits I get from being a good person. And you feel you feel better as a person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's kind of like getting. You don't get no money for being a good nigga or being a good person in the world, but you do. I don't know. Some people like you know. I just feel a satisfaction out of doing good type shit. So that's why I do it because I get a satisfaction mm-hmm. out of it. like a. I don't know, ain't, ain't no like dopamine shit, but it's like, you know, I just get a satisfaction out of doing, you know. I feel like shit. I feel like people don't uh notice also that you actually do get re- rewarded in a, in a type of way. The universe that yeah, I the universe honestly, hey, the universe do reward it, you. It, I ain't, it, ain't even, you it got a funny way of working itself out. Like you may go through some shit and boom. Like uh it's like I've been in so many near death situations, all that type shit also, like and just to get out of that. Like bro, even though I'll tell you a crazy ass story, boy. Why well, nigga was in Africa, boy? With his cousin, right? <laughs> yeah, my nigga, he, yeah, he, yo, I'm God. <laughs> Why well, nigga was in, in Africa with his cousin, boy? Nigga, I'm, uh, I'm at the ports handling some shit with my mom, cause as I said she got some business over there. Right. Bro, this nigga, dip, we went to get some food. This nigga dipped for like an hour. So I'm riding around looking for this nigga, bro. I find this nigga. Why this nigga take me to the crack house on me? And he owe them niggas bread. And you know, over there, they automatically, because they know I'm American. Like, they want my bread. Yeah, facts. And you know, I'm related. And so they like, yo, like, where the bread? I'm telling them niggas, like, y'all niggas not getting shit. <laughs> like, but this nigga dead ass had me in some shit. Like, damn. They don't play that shit over there, though. But them niggas smoke the coat and, and, and everything. They did all that shit in the, in the, in the car. Yeah. They snow that shit and they smoke that shit. Nah. That Man, shit's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's get let's get on that. But, let, let, but, let's let's let, let's say we're into that. You know, you are he's a you know he he's been out of the country a, a few times. You know, you know what I'm saying. He's had that experience. You know, you want to speak on just you know that couple of those experiences you going. I know you just got back from Africa like two three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. You know, you know what I'm saying. So, I mean, for me, as I said, seeing uh, Africa is another way of living. It's a it's something it's a way of living that I want to be out there. Like, okay. I, I'm finna. I see myself like finishing there. Gotta go back. I ain't gonna like go to. Gotta go back to the motherland, homeland. Got to. Like, like I just feel like it's only right for for black folks to to do that. You just gotta get the fuck away from. We're not wanted here, Mm-mm. and it's so obvious. Yeah, it's obvious. Just trying to, you know, just trying to. Hey, peace, protest. Yeah. Keep peace, protest. <laughs> Man, y'all, <laughs> y'all don't take y'all, no sense. y'all don't take y'all bread where it costs more. And Go ahead, talk to him, man. You you can do more with it. Yeah, facts. and you could build and create whatever you can imagine. If you want to sell something, whether you want to have a store, you want to build a crib, or you want to have a boutique, or you want to have a salon, or facts. like whatever, you guys can go over there and do that. Like right now, for would you for say they're fa- are they fascinated with American culture? Fascinated. So 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 just that us being and we just know so much about American culture, we can bring you know just the parts, the good parts, just, you know, uh, music, movies, you know, production, art, you know, our journalists, you know, writers, just you know, all the kids, just everything, and go over there and just build, build that. Yeah. Like I, build that's what I don't. You know what I'm like saying? Everything but, that people like, go there and build yeah, it. Deve- the develop it there. Teach people how to actually do that and develop it there. Not get it from outside the country, but develop it there. So we're not going and having to depend on America. We're some, not going to have to depend on. Some perception of Africa is that it's just poor, and that's, it's that, not. It's, it's 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 not at all. And, and, and you know, America has a way of doing that. So you don't go so over you there. Don't go over there. And you don't research. You don't really do the. You don't info. go over there. Like you know, Africa looks small on the map, but really, it's the biggest continent. You know, for real, for real, like. Like I wish I could share some photos and videos of everything like that I went, but when I got here, I broke my phone. So yeah, <laughs> everything gone. But I'm gonna fix that. But yeah, how the weather, like, how, the, how, the, how the weather is? I don't even know the weather. Bro, the sun. Oh we're sun. Black people. We're sun babies. We're melanated babies. Sun babies. We go over there. We're gonna thrive. You bro. know what I'm saying? Just you're just gonna be you're just you're just gonna be happy. You, you under that sun. Think about the the heat beating you right. Yeah, but you not hot. <laughs> what the fuck? Think about the beat what and the, the heat fuck? beating you. you I nigga, I'm talking about sometimes no clouds in the sky, nigga. 
Sometimes no clouds in the sky, nigga. And I know it's beautiful scenery. I I gotta go. You know, I'm a I'm, I'm a experience. I'm a, I want to experience a lot in my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm just one of them type niggas. You know, I just got many interests in. You know, Africa. I feel like you know. I I'm, I feel like you know. I'm going to move out the country. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 already you know, you know, just satisfied. But uh, I just I didn't know where. But you know, Africa just you know sounds like you know, it, it's gonna be that place. Just you know, it's just people on people. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know. You know, how is that? How are they? How are they to Americans? You know what I'm saying? Like they love Americans. That's the thing. Like in all aspects and categories. The only thing that I could say is bad about out there is, as I said, coming with Africa, you know, it's going to be a poverty side of every, almost every Yeah, every, that, but yeah, every it, everywhere, go. everywhere you go, it's a poverty side, but we can get that, if, if it's our shit, you feel what I'm saying, or, you know, everybody. Nah, we, we can fix that, yeah. yeah you, it's you it's, not, it's that an easy with, fix. With, with it's money, easy I'm, trying, I'm trying to tell you, people, people need black people. These other, these other people need black people. I'm trying to let you know that, like, like, uh. We just need our own shit. Like yeah. that's just what that just is what it is, man. Go there and make something like think about it. If you bring your business over there as jobs and you know they're gonna love it because it's American product. It's American face. The American face alone brings you so much attention. The the way you speak will bring you so much attention and people will just be like, Hey, I seen that American guy. Oh, he has a store right there. I'm finna move oh, the pod- I'm finna move the podcast to Africa. You know, and then I'm gonna go out there, you know, buy some land, you know, get some work. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm pretty sure they got some some UFC, some U, some mixed martial art gyms. Oh right yeah, there. oh yeah. You know, and you know, just and I know the niggas out there are strong. So oh, I was I about to say that. On, I plan hey, on getting Rich. some good work. I'm a I, I don't run from the hey, work. Rich, that, I, I that love they go, work. That nigga go had to buck up. <laughs> I love work. I, I love work though. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't gonna lie. But over there, it felt little. Like you know, over here, I, you know, niggas just be in the gym because they niggas be like, yeah, nigga, big. Man, he go out there, them niggas walking around like this, nigga. Like, bruh. I'm, nah, and you know why? And you them know, niggas body I'm for knowing. No I'm knowing. Is, is they lifting weights or they just naturally strong? Or, or they, or they, or some they lift weights, some are naturally strong. Yeah, you, that, you may just see that, a big ass nigga that that's naturally strong. Because they, you know, you know, I, I know, I, I know they do, you know, a lot of jobs out there are probably uh, physically, physically mm-hmm. demanding. So, you know, that, that's just, I that just come with that. You know what I'm saying? But. But you know we can we can build some shit. I'm not gonna lie, man. Bro, nah, this this shit this shit gonna turn global, bro. Like if everyone were to just go over there, I get this mindset, man. That's what the that's why I want to get this you know my this talking conversation podcast. You know that's my plan. You know I just want to spark people's minds and you know just that's my whole thing. That's why you know. I mean know just what I'm get, just give it another perspective. Just, yeah, another perspective. An, you know an, what I'm saying? An, another look of life because yeah. you gotta think about it. If you're here. Keep buying this designer and shit. You know, niggas, we buying designer and shit. We can go over there and flip some land. You can go, you probably go buy you, you know, a couple more designer. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You like, know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, it, you, know you gotta like get, you know, but you gotta do your research and you gotta get info on that. And it ain't gonna be easy, like, just trying to learn about it. It's some shit you're gonna have to learn. Like, just, just like, just like, you know, anything else. Like, for instance, if you wanted to be a car trader, right? Right. You could easily take. I'm talking about raggedy cars over here. Even though I don't want to like mess up the country like that, but raggedy cars over here that you can buy for like fifteen hundred, thousand five hundred dollars. You take it over there, minimum is going is five thousand. Yeah, like yeah, cause it's American. It's just like they're fascinated with culture. Like just they haven't seen the type of shit that we got, so that shit would be new to them. All this shit that we got that we don't share would be new to them, and it's and it's kind of just like bringing the culture to another another continent, but still not. Not fucking up what they got, cause yeah. I, I don't I don't want to do that. You know I feel like Africa is the is the homeland. You know I want to yeah. you know go back and. Uh, oh no, but trust me, all they want is everything expensive. Mercedes, Benz, Range Rovers. That's I mean, bro, Rich. If you come over there with me, you commit to coming over with me. Yeah, I'm 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 hey I'm I'm oh, coming. This man. shit did this shit stamp. You know, getting the passport soon. I ain't gonna lie. So, so Whoever they, wanna so, so they me. send me my shit. December. Are you going in December? I need to go in December. You you going in December? I need to go in December. I, I, December I, the passport is the best. will probably be here. The pass, my passport will probably be here, and, and I'll be going with you in December. All right. Dece- December is the best time to go because December is when they go crazy. Because it's the holidays, but even though it's a Muslim country, I don't know. Everyone pops out. Baddies. <laughs> Clubs going crazy. <laughs> I'm talking about people party every night. Nah, that's... 
People party every night. Great yeah, are, pool. Are people on on their phones a lot over there? On their phones a lot? No, not as much. No, so it's more you know just communication. It's more communication. Damn, we need social. that. We need that. You need so we need so, you know like talking pe- out these and, phones. And, and, and especially when they know you're American, everyone's gonna try to like come to you and talk to you like like who are you? Like ask you experiences, ask you what the fuck going on. Yeah, like I, some I, people I need going. Bring, some. I need to bring the podcast over there. No cap, I need to bring the podcast over there. I need to do like a couple episodes. I can take the podcast on the road. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do do a couple shit. But uh, you know, just some, you know. It's multiple experiences you could do out there. And, and where and where are you from? You wanna let the folks know where you're Ga- from? Uh Gambia. 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 Like, I'm Gambian and Senegalese, but Gambia is a great, great place. Senegalese is more modern. More hmm. Senegalese. If you if it, uh, Sen- not Senegalese, because I'm Senegalese, but Senegal. Senegal is more modern. If you were to try to go to Senegal, Senegal is a great place. What do you mean by more modern? More modern as in more city. Like, mm. that's where Akon's uh, currently about to build his city at also. Mm. So, that's about to go crazy. That's a uh, a couple billion mm. uh, on the city. You see what I'm saying? So, that's a, that's someone I don't going know, I heard to. Something. I heard something about Akon. Yeah, so, like, so that's another person going to start building on Africa. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Start building on his country. You know what I'm saying? So, Senegal is going to be another big place. And Gambia is going to, Gambia is right next to it. So, I mean, it's going to be another big place. And it's right on the coast. Fact so, up. that's why I said, that's why I said it. it it's How the food is? Boy. <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. <laughs> Street food, bro. Any food out there is crazy. I mean, obviously, you got to be a little safe. But, r- Regardless, let, they might not know what you mean by say. You want to let them know what you mean. I by mean, safe. in terms of safe, I mean, like, say you have a weak stomach, then I wouldn't advise you to always eat any street food that you see because you know some people are less sanitary than others. Facts. But I personally have certain places that I go every time I go out there, Facts. and like that's how I live. Like, I wake up, I, I go to those same places. Every what, fucking what, what type day. of food is it though? You know what 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 are the individual meals? Bro, you get anything you want out there. You know what I'm saying, what what you be eating on though? Everything, pasta, mm-hmm. burgers. I can do Italian. As long as they I got French fries, I'm coming. Oh, as long as they got French fries, I'm coming. Best French fries you will have. No cap. Hey, everything fresh. I didn't. I everything didn't. fresh. That that's another thing. Everything. Think about it. The fish that you get right there, just caught fresh. I think I'm an advocate seafood lover. I'm, you know, you, it's in the it's, it's in the it's in the woodwork. The, the uh, cow that you wanted, yeah, it was just killed earlier. Facts, you know, fresh, fresh. So everything it hasn't, it ha- hasn't been going through any of these um, processed mm-hmm. factories, you know, or anything. You feel what I'm saying? It's good, fresh. So man, uh, it's yeah. it's safe. It, it, it tastes so. It, it has actual taste. Yeah, like so, some of the stuff I actually taste it. Like coming back. Like I said, I had pizza from Domino's the other day. I felt like it was the worst thing I ever ate. It. Mm. Just being out there, being spoiled to be able to mm. eat. Like, just anything, bro. Yeah, your like, mind your mind expanded, taste buds expanded. You come back and taste this everything, bullshit. Everything. And your mind, like, yo, yeah. what, yo, what the fuck? Like, yo. Like, yo. what am I eating? Yeah. Yo. What am I eating? <laughs> yeah, that's why I just eat french fries now. You know, I think all french fries probably going to taste the same. It's still a potato. Yeah, bro. That That is an, a whole nother experience, like. Actually, being at a place that I said that it has its cons, but it has way more pros. Yeah, let's speak. Like, let, bro, I'm let, five let, minutes away from the beach. Yeah, like, let, let, you know, we gave a lot of pros. You know, it's beautiful, beautiful scenery. You know, people talking on their phones a lot. A lot of pros. You know, what are some of the cons? You know, just, you know, you want to keep that balance. You know? I mean, in, in terms of cons, it, it is some poverty over there. So, as I said, you're going around, you're never going to see someone. It's ne- this is the thing, though. It's poverty. But you're not going to see poverty in terms of robbing. Uh, you see what I'm saying? That type of stuff. Like, no one's just gonna come to you straight and rob you. But what I will say is, maybe on the back end, like, say they know you're American, they could uh subject you to target. Uh, may, people may want to like steal your stuff, like gamble you for money. So you may see a person who's struggling needs help. They may see you and just know they're just gonna know. Like, hey, you rich. You go over there, they're just gonna know you're no, fucking. I'm a, knowing. I'm you're knowing. American. I'm knowing. So they're gonna come to you. They're gonna be like, "I'm struggling. Like anything will help." You see what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna lie. Like the first two weeks out there, like bro, I'm dead ass spending bread. Like every person that came to me struggling, 
I'm thinking, yo, I got to help him. Yeah. I got to help him. Yeah. Which is not a bad thing. It's not. But just just think about it. And then you start, it, it, it gets crazy when, you see what I'm saying? Nah, no, no Gambia. And I'm okay every day. I'm, I'm driving and I see him at the same spot every day. <laughs> I go to the store. I see him right there the next day. So it's just like, damn, like, hold on, bro. Like, think about it. And it, it's not a high cost of living out there. So think about it. If I give them like four do- four American dollars equivalent, bro, that's hella a lot to them. You know how much you can do with four American dollars out there? What can you do? N- but nigga, bro, you can buy like f- a meal to feed the whole family. With four American dollars, niggas, niggas give. <laughs> see, I give a nigga four dollars, he gonna be like, yo, what the fuck is this? this? Nah, dead ass. But you this? you give people four dollars <laughs> out there a- equivalent to their money? Oh, they're lit. Oh what? So think about it, bro. They was making eating. They was making bank off me, and I'm not the to, only uh, one they making bank off of. You know, I'm, I'm I might go to Vegas spring break, spring break. You know, <laughs> fucking with Vegas. I might go to Vegas spring break. You know, so I want to get a couple of my niggas. You know, you might tap in. Let's go to Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Get, and, uh, get some cash, nigga. Twenty one. Right? You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> oh god. Hey. <laughs> but, Let's uh, get crazy. Let's <laughs> get crazy. <laughs> but uh. Uh, we was at uh tenth grade and um, uh, just to, uh, to piggyback off of uh, just your high school experience. How was that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, then after that, as I said, I mean, growing growing with that, and then as I said, being outside and then just picking up basketball, playing, starting oh, yeah, to play that. When did that. you start? When did you when did you first? Eighth grade. You you first, you first picked up basketball. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Thanks. I played seventh grade a little bit. But that was just outside. I just started. Yeah, right. Eighth grade was when I really start, started trying to play and got into AAU and stuff like that. So, I mean, just picking up that and then that. You know, through basketball, people don't understand, but it also gives you a lot of character. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and, it, it, it and does. You, Teach you a lot of lessons on the inside. You on can't the inside, run away from. Yeah, you can't run away from. You get from. your ass bust by a nigga. You go home. <laughs> You can't, you know, you can try to tell your friends, man. You know, it's just one. You know, you try nah, to that's just excuse, it. But you know, when you get in the shower, lay your head down. Damn, I can't do nothing with that. And that's a terrible feeling. That's a terrible feeling on the inside. They get you thirty. You gotta wait till next year or the next time you see his ass. <laughs> or, the, or the next game. God. No facts, but yeah, I mean, for me, as I said, it it, it definitely it definitely built character for me, bro. Like, uh. I was able to see other sides of life. I was able to see how other people live. So I was able to compare my life, like, almost. I was able to see, like, okay, this person lives like this, so they think like this. So that's right. another thing. Now I can see and, and I know I know the way people think. I, I can right, see a so. lot of the way that people think. Yeah, so. no cap, though. And, and, you know, some folks don't even think like that, so they get caught up. You know, they might get caught up in that and, and, and start – Engaging in the thing that they don't have to engage with because they're just because if you're just trying to argue with somebody who they just they just don't even know for real mm-hmm. for real like what's going on and they just d- dumb as fuck you just gotta let that go because you're not gonna win that yeah at all and, and you know that's a lot of stress you trying niggas be trying to argue niggas and and just all oh, they get caught up in that you gotta look at everything from different people perspective and what they've been through or what they're gonna try yeah. to present to you that as may be false that's why I can always like low key I I, I try to. For me as a person, I always pick apart everybody. I, I try to. I, I learn the stuff that they like. I learn the stuff that they don't like. Right. I learn. Okay, wh- what's their background? How they talk to their mom? How they do this? Because it's like if you don't respect your mom, or yeah, you, you know what I'm saying, or, or, yeah. or you or you talk to elders a certain type of way. Gotta how respect. do you th- how do you think I'm? He's gonna be. He's gonna respect yeah, you. It's, it's no way. They're gonna talk crazy. Of course they are. You see what I'm saying? So it's just. I say it's levels and in, in, in different ways that people. Man, it's really, really don't went out the window live. slick, though. You know, just, you know. Oh, no, facts. Just a common courtesy, you know, holding the door open for for women type shit. And, or thank, same, fucking, thank you. Know, or saying thank you, you know, speaking. Just, bless uh, you. Yeah. I want to say bless you. You know, for, you know, he can say that shit. I ain't going to say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, but as you said, that's, that's something that, as I said, it used to be a, everyone used to say it. If one person's knee that you say everybody say it. Now you hey, don't need hey, to. niggas to be in class. Niggas, hey, niggas, 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 niggas be in class. Niggas say bless you. Thirty niggas start saying bless you in harmony. Nigga on some funny <laughs> shit. <laughs> Just trying to interrupt class. Oh God, <laughs> that's all it be though. Oh God, but yeah, man. I said like 
I don't know. Basketball really allowed me to really look and figure out multiple different type of people. Right. Meet them. See a sports. L- great, l- great lesson. L- great lesson. Learn them. Like, I I, didn't, I know Rich, everyone who's played basketball I've seen and met different kind of people, like, good and bad. <laughs> good yeah, and bad. You, yeah, you go meet good and bad. You, you know what I'm saying? But at bad. least you know who good and bad and you know how they started off mm-hmm. and then how you found out. So now if another person you meet starts off with those tendencies, you can go and cut that off mm-hmm. real quick. You ain't mm-hmm. got to. You ain't mm-hmm. gotta, you know, really get that far to really find out how bad it really is. So, you know, just a lot of a lot of signs once you uh start looking at shit that way. Nah, fact. use that noggin of yours, man, that brain. So as I said just basketball, me growing up that way, and as I said, that's a way that I ain't traveling early and seeing as I said struggles and hearing struggles that my parents went through. It it all allowed me to be the ultimate person I am today and just be able to dissect and always try to be myself up out but now I gotta learn to be more cautious cause that shit has fucked me up right so so uh you ninth grade you played uh you played varsity ninth grade hell nah you played freshman and JV freshman and JV and then 10th grade what you played 10th grade uh JV and sat varsity facts so when you really started playing varsity for real for real uh, I started playing varsity eleventh grade, mm-hmm. so eleventh and twelfth grade was was good years. In fact, that's that's what that's when I actually, as I said, actually learned. I felt like that's at that point I was actually playing basketball, like starting early. Like I felt definitely not great hustle man. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Trap bucket for real. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tenth grade, little little bit of buckets got got stuff together, and then as I said, eleventh grade developed, twelfth grade developed, and then damn, I ain't really really get that developed to like twelfth grade playoffs, for real for real, and uh, that's quite crazy. Yeah, I developed early, and I I, I mean I was trying to because I had a uh, a white coach, Coach Birchfield. That's another thing. Like I said, basketball is all walks of life. Yeah, like, okay, I never got coached by a white man. How was that being coached by nah, a white coach? I, the crazy thing about it is we got coached by a bl- uh, black guy in college. Yeah. And he gave me a worse experience than a guy that coached me in high school and man. gave me my greatest experience. Coach Jordan was just a freak, a freak-ass nigga. <laughs> you know, just a freak-ass nigga. And uh, you just, you just got to accept that. <laughs> And just man, he just decided to ruin our lives. Said, yeah, nah, man. y'all boys ain't go hoop. Yeah, it's quite it's, it's quite wild. You know, we hear all the time, you know, politics and coaches, but that's that's real, real deal, chicken spiel. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man. Uh, where did you go after twelfth grade? Twelfth grade went prep. That's why uh, me how, and D-Jets teamed up. How, how, how was your preps? Uh, your prep. I said preps. How was your prep experience? I said prep is another way. As I said, once again, seeing, uh, knowing another way, wave of people. Because now I have international people in my house. I learn. I see how they struggle. You see what I'm saying? Mm. I see... I seen how they struggle. I seen how they what they enjoyed. I seen the stuff that they missed. I talked about their places of birth, like all that. So that's another new wave of people. Then I got people from India, and I got people from up north. I got people from Canada. You see what I'm saying? Right. So having all that, and then all right. So now we we, we back, man. We back with the podcast, man. <laughs> so uh, get back home. You know, uh, Africa. You know, just you know how do we know how the cops is in, in America? You just want to speak on how the cops is. In, in Africa I don't know it's, it's black folks Patrolling black folks But go ahead I mean technically Out there I mean it's I, I, I enjoyed it With the cops Cause It was easy to get You can get your way Out of anything If you have money But mm. That's one thing I will say about that Anything Well, that, well that's kinda That's kinda bad <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's kind of bad. But then that, again, it's like, hey, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. But that, I mean, they do they do make sure they try to do their justice. But just know if you have money, you can get it. Oh, not n- not nothing crazy. Like let's say a nigga done done beat a nigga ass and then robbed some shit. A nigga be like, okay, I'll pay you to let me go. And shit ain't going. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. They still gonna book them, but then they'll probably let them go later on that night. They ain't gonna hold them, hmm. or they may hold them to the morning, then let them dip. 
instead of them having to actually serve. Shit, but if everybody, I feel like I feel like crime wouldn't even be a problem if everybody eating. I, I feel like, see, that's, a, that's just on some American shit. I'm just thinking of all the bad shit. You no, know I'm, what I'm saying I'm not no, gonna lie. Like, that's 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 uh, a good point because it's not a lot of crime in Gambia, and but it's poverty. But you know how people uh, eat. Like Gambia is a place, especially in the older days where. Cause I, as I said, I went there for a little bit. So I, you could be anywhere on the street, bro. At two o'clock, two o'clock is lunchtime. Two o'clock, wherever you at, you can go into any crib. They're gonna be having lunch, and you can sit down and have lunch with the family. That's beautiful. And not, and not know, and no one not know who you are. You ain't gotta know who they is, cause you just they, they just on some, you know, you just feed, you know, yeah. you just, you just chilling. You just, they just on some chill shit. They know you don't know hot shit, no bullshit. Yeah, you just around to have, you know, maybe have a nice conversation. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for the meal. Going about your day, just a, a good experience in the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that shit hard. Cause I know, for instance, like I ain't gonna lie, nigga, my crib eating, eating up the good shit though. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a nigga. You know the good shit. <laughs> and the situation for me, like, uh, I was out there. My mom, my mom needed me back at the crib, but she needed me to pick up some for my aunt crib. So I drove over to my aunt crib, but I'm hungry. I'm hungry as hell. Like I stayed out that night, and I eat. So, you know, g- late nights you gonna wake up hungry. Hey. So I woke up hungry, bro, dead ass. Like I'm tipping over. Like God damn, I'm hungry. Man, I got to my aunt, aunt crib. She got guards outside. But dead ass, the guards was having lunch. They dead ass told me, come eat while they go bring the bags, while they go bring the bags out. Shit, they went in there and brought the bags out. I'm sitting there eating. Oh, yeah, I got to go. When they brought the bags out, I took the bags. I hopped in the, I, I hopped in the crib. I hopped in the crib. Yeah. I hopped in the crib. And then I mean I hopped in the whip and then I pulled off, bro. Like, right. the, and it's just like that. And it it was no beef. Like it was no none of them mad. It was just like they just looking out trying to hook me up, hook me up and make sure uh, I was eating good. So I mean that's I mean that's something for me. I I I, I, yeah, def- that shit, I definitely yeah, that enjoy shit that. That, that shit hard, man. I, I got to go. You know, just experience. You know, just you know that just that culture and shit like that. I really want to go everywhere. I just want to experience every, everywhere. Because niggas be, but I know, man, a lot of restrictions is coming down, man, from all these freak ass niggas leading the world, man. Freak ass niggas, man. But, uh, I mean, I don't even be trying to get in that shit, but it's like it all resorts back to these niggas, you know, yeah. leading the world and the folks who got the power. And, and they ain't even really got the power, just folks are listening to these niggas as far as a whole, just because they feel like they have to, just because, you know, you just. Talk to obey authority, but also like if authority tell you to do something wrong, man, you just gotta. Yeah. Not it ain't even if it's wrong, that shit wrong, man. Right is right, wrong is wrong, and niggas know niggas know what's wrong. Niggas yeah. Know, niggas know right from wrong. So, but as I said, for the most part, everyone out there is gonna be nice. But as right. I said, the cons is as I said some people being poor and trying to finesse you a little bit because you're American. Right. So, but besides that, I mean, you're really not gonna really find any more problems. Like, maybe, depending on the side of town you are, if you're on the good side of town, maybe sometimes the light might go out for, like, five minutes, maybe to th- five to 30 minutes, maybe. But besides that, for the most part, I mean, you're good. Yeah, all right, man. Podcast, I was 25, man. Got a little, got a little technical difficulties, man, real quick. But, uh, Mo, you want to go ahead and say where they can uh, follow you on IG and shit at? Yeah, you can follow me at uh, Mo Guns on IG. And Mo Guns on Twitter also, but that's really my only two yeah, facts. social yeah, media yeah, facts, yeah. that matter anyway. Oh God, God. But uh, you can got down. Everybody know what you know. Follow me, you know, Instagram talking conversation, man. And Twitter, Rich. my Twitter, my Twitter funny as fuck. I, 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 if you if you want some daily laughter and some daily thoughts, you know, some daily encouragement, I would advise you to follow my Twitter, please. You know, it's TC Podcast, so it's T C P O D. D C A S. The podcast of twenty five, man. We're gonna get out of here, man. Back. Oh no, we I'm just gonna edit, I'm just gonna edit the worst name then edit it, this shit out. I don't even think folks be going to enter that bitch yet though. But uh anyways I still like to put my closing remarks on type shit. No cap for the future references. No. <laughs> Hi. Okay. <laughs>